welcome back to our channel today. We're gonna make a bird. See this bird? This is a bird, a flapping bird. See? It can flap its wings when you hold this and pull its tail. But the original one is this one. It can't flap. Nope, nope, nope. It's a crane. And it's puppy. And like this one. Because this one has a pointy back. Look how pointy that is. This one has a actually a, a puppy body. See? Now we're going to show you how to make that. Okay, so we've got, actually we got uh, 180 sheets, like it's just origami. You can get like a regular um, sheet of printed white paper. Like you don't have to use origami. You can just like use printed sheet of white paper and then like cut it into a square. So yeah. Now, get any paper of your choice. Coloring. So now we're going to have the paper facing the white side up. We're going to fold it this point to here. If you want, you can like fold it up here, or you can just refold it. Let me show you what I mean. So just fold the pieces again. So you can just like fold by doing it. So you can align perfectly. So turn it over and you see this crease here? done yet. We're going to get this, this flap, the first flap, and fold it to this line. Now the next one, you fold it to the line in the middle crease. And do the same to the other side. Try to make it even. Okay. So now we've got these two on each side. We're going to open it up. You have these two creases here. And now you just open up this. So you, you know, now you just like you see these creases here? You fold along those creases. And fold the other side too. Now I do 
brought that and push it back up. And this is a wing. Turn around and do the same thing. It might be a little tricky, but like, it's not too hard. Wait, just got this pointy thing like okay so you see these two extra flaps these are the tail and the head so we're going to actually put that on the top and now this now these two are on the top so you're just gonna flip over this page let me do that again flip over so you can see that turn around and flip this page over now you've got the two heads and tail the head and the tail and the wing so fold these up and that up. Okay, now you've got this. So we're going to actually make a flapping one. So yeah. Like this you just like pull. See this? You pull it. And now, you fold it wherever you would like it to go. See, I would like it very down. Now, get the other one, do the same thing. Try to make it the same height. There. Now we've got that. To make the head here, it's pretty simple. You just like stick your finger in and you squish it down once you squish it down you fold it back up and you've got the head so to make it flap so um just stick your fingers inside here to make a gap like that see and now you can flap it the reason why you have to do it is because if you do without it, it doesn't really flap that good. So like you have to do it first. You can still do it like like keep it flat and flat it. Like I prefer to stick my fingers in first. So there we've got the flapping bird. So, now we're going to make the puffy inside for the bird. It's just like making this one, except you're just like having a puff out, and the wings are a bit smaller. There's just two parts that are different, and I'll show you that now. Now pick a color. And now face it, the right side up, and fold. Now you fold this over here. Keep it flat, just kind of even it out. Okay, now just fold it over here. See? Just like before. But this time, I'm just going to free fold it. Like, for like, this part. This part, I don't need to. So now, if you want to free fold it, this is what you're going to have to do for this part. 
you're going to have to put this flap and put it align it there. Okay. Once you get the hook set, you just have to make the fold. Turn it around, turn this flap over, and do the same thing. Just turn, align it, and fold it. Okay, now we've got this again. Remember this? Okay, so now we're gonna do this again. Just fold it along here. There, now you've got these two creases. These are just temporary. got these flaps. Now we're going to open up and going to cut pull these again. We pull these flaps except in this direction you might have to turn the folds. See? Now we've got one wing. Now the other side. Pull it up. Okay. And pull it back up. Fold it, press it down, smooth it out, and you've got this. Now we're going to, this is the part that's different. Put these two flaps on the top. We're just going to get one flap, one of these flaps, see? And fold it to the middle. This other side. Fold it down into the middle. Now we flip it over, do the same thing. Okay, this is the head. Okay, this one's gonna have a lot of flipping, not that much. Just right. Now flip this one over. Turn it over, flip this over. There, you've got the wings that are smaller now. See? Now you fold it up. And you fold it up. There. Okay, one more, one more flip over. You just Fold it over here and fold it over here. Now you've got the puff up point. Okay, now you're going to make the head, the beak. Make the head. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did before. You press it down and you fold it. Press it together. Now you just hold the two wings and pull gently, don't rip it. See? If you want to make the tail, you can just like press it down like this. Make a little tail if you want. You can just keep it like this. But there, the two birds are done! This is a time-lapsed and closer version of a crane. So if you wanna see what it looks like close up, 
So, yeah. This is just the same as what I showed you. So, don't get confused. You don't have to go as fast as this pace because it's just time lapsed. So you don't need to go this fast. So don't worry. And one more thing. If you want to fold your origami, I don't really recommend folding it in the air like here. What my mom's doing here. Because it's harder. If you can do it, it's fine. But like... Putting it on a surface, a hard surface, is easier to do if you're a beginner. Thank you so much for watching. We post our videos every day, so don't miss out on those. If you don't want to miss out on our videos, you can go ahead and click the bell below. And you'll see you have a notification on every time we post. So yeah. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you hadn't done it already. We are so thankful for all the people who subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Our next video will be how to fold a lucky star. So if you want to watch that, please ring the notification bell. Bye everyone!